Hi, my name is Amy Klo, and I work for the Washington State Department of Agriculture. I'm here by this beautiful apple tree near Rainier, Washington. Um, just looking at some of the fruit in this tree, you might start noticing that it's apple season. So you might start to see apples in trees in your backyard or maybe around town or on the side of the road. You might not know it, but there's a quarantine in the state of Washington for an insect called apple maggot. So that basically means that you can't transport homegrown or foraged apples from the western side of the state to the eastern side of the state. The quarantine area is where apple maggot is already established and it consists of most of western Washington with a select few areas of eastern Washington. The rest of eastern Washington is pest free. We don't want apple maggot moving from those quarantine areas into the pest free areas of the state where most of our iconic Washington apples are grown. Let's take a look at one of these apples and see why we don't want to move fruit outside of the quarantine area. The inside of this apple has brown lines and is a little bit mushy, and that's from the apple maggot. So what an apple maggot does is it's, it lays its eggs inside the, under the skin of the apple, and then as the maggot develops, it eats its way through the apple. And this can cause the, these brown lines that you see here in the apple, can also cause it to rot and drop prematurely from the tree. Sometimes if you look closely at an apple, you might notice signs that an apple maggot might be inside. You'll notice some dimpling and some spotting on the outside of the of fruit and then also you'll see that the fruit can be a little bit misshapen. So these are all signs that there might be an apple maggot inside. So when you cut open one of these apples you might not always see that there's a maggot inside. That's why it's so important to make sure that you don't bring any homegrown or foraged fruit from the quarantine area to the pest free area. So if you're thinking about maybe going camping this year be sure to leave any apples growing in your backyard or apples that you find on the side of the road like this apple tree here, make sure you leave those at home and don't take them with you. You can uh, check where the quarantine boundaries are by visiting WSCA's website at agr.wa.gov slash applemaggot, where we have an interactive map of where the quarantine areas are. If you have an apple tree in your backyard, but you don't have time to manage it, consider removing the tree. That'll help uh, prevent the spread of apple maggot to your neighbors and uh, orchards in the area.